Hello, I hope you're fine. My name is Tukafi. I'm an artist painter since 2004. And I'd like to share with you my art, endurance art. It's about the challenges that any one of us could face at any moment given in time. To start with, from the last video, perhaps if you have seen it, uh, and I hope you, you enjoyed watching it, I'd like to show you this painting, which is uh, done in black and white. Um, it's to give um, tribute uh, to children's lives lost in the Great Famine of East Africa in the 80s. This one here, as you can see, face without ear, endurance art feature, which is the difficulty, the challenge of not being able to be heard and also one eye which which is more prominent in that it's the look of others and the other one which is almost disappearing the look inside of us so usually with the series of works in the endurance paintings earlier paintings that are in black and white to show the severity of the problem uh, as I told you last time um, about the discs, that this is the original that inspired the disc-like, for example, here the disc-like figures. This is the original painting that was inspired by the oval-shaped traditional pancake of Ethiopia, the injera, and because I missed it a lot, I used to put it into my paintings. And so here, the traditional pancake with uh, food put on it, uh, it's my recollection that um, how it appeared to be like this, from my recollection and inspiration from the injera. So eventually, it evolved into a more universal concept, something that turns in our heads ideas, that keep churning in our brains, that preoccupies us. In the later works, we see many forms of discs uh, in the paintings. And here again, we see the elongation of the neck, face without ears. In this video, we'll talk about uh, the works of personalities. Here, inspired from the life and works of Gandhi. Again, the exaggeration of the neck to show the endurance, the tenacity, and then later on water bodies added into the composition to show the challenges, moving or moving water that shows the challenges. And so this is titled the um, Salt March. Here the allegory with the um, colonial hats also uh, in the background and the color contrast and interpretation. The other one I wanted to show you is this one. As I'm originating from East Africa, it's very interesting uh, for me to, to have made this painting. It's a story of Audrey Hepburn. Near the end of her life, she had this mission to go to East Africa to break the silence about uh, children, for example, uh, all uh, efforts against hunger and breaking the silence, to break the silence that's jutting out of this uh, foreground, which is the image of uh, broken land in the dried regions, and then her symbol in golden because of her warm, warm humanity, uh, personality, and in the background you can see a sky which is not blue, but it shows the, the lack of water and the force of the sun. So as you can see here, the disc-like objects appear again, turning, turning in her imagination, her, her thoughts and efforts. So as you can see, there are 13 discs. It's uh, representing her 13 projects that she led to this region. The discs, they do not touch, they do not touch the foreground because still this, 
this challenge uh, exists today. Is our homework to win so that poverty or hunger will not come back on the earth? Is our homework done? It's just to say the discs, they don't touch the, the, the earth because there's still the challenge. So this is a portrait um, interpreted um, with about the challenges of Audrey Hepburn, especially near the end of her lifetime. Uh, we see different um, interpretations. For example, here, uh, Nelson Mandela. And this is titled The Island of Robin. So again, similarly, he's breaking out of the challenges that he was facing in his life, um, how he broke that and come out. Again, we can see uh, water bodies as challenges and the elongated neck, uh, etc. So in the endurance paintings, the idea is the universality of the challenges that we have at the different levels, at the different um, uh, ah, this one is, uh, is also, for me, the eye is very important. Um, the eye uh, is very important in rendering the painting uh, more expressive. I'd like to show you this time the work done here. You can... Um, see immediately that um, there is a lot of uh, pain and a lot of uh, challenge going on. So this is a representation symbolic by painting of uh, the assassination of JFK. We see he has put his hand on the top of a box which is locked and the key to the box is cascading down and it's not accessible uh, pro at proximity. So we can also see in the face the absence of ears, teardrops coming out uh, from, from the eyes, red teardrops. Uh, essentially, the endurance paintings, they are having a different evolution. So I started in 2000, um, Five 2006 uh, onwards, I started making these endurance paintings, and then it continued into an endurance continued uh, series. That is, it could be travel, um, cultural uh, difference, etc. And then there is allegory of endurance. Allegory in that I studied some wild animals, or it can be some objects that. We use it as an allegory uh, to speak in the dialogue of art. And uh, actually, uh, I'm involved in the um, uh, endurance uh, kaleidoscope, which is mostly re symbolic representations. I have also some projects, uh, Petrin, uh, perhaps in, in the next video, I'll show you some of the works about the allegory. Uh, so thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, again, I'll be happy to receive your feedback. Uh, please go to the website thegafisart.com or Instagram page kidgafi. Uh, write me your thoughts. Um, personally, I believe that art is in each one of us as just the expression which is different. Uh, so thank you very much uh, for watching and see you next time. Uh, stay safe.